I guess I have to move it down as well. <laughs> Betsy and Jero. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so what sold me on Clarkson six years ago was that it felt like a big family all the way through the program. I knew I wanted to be part of that. Six years later, I'm leaving knowing, I made, knowing that I made the right choice coming here, and there are so many great people to thank. So I want to start by thanking Tony Collins and his wife Karen for the unwavering support they've given the program over the last four years. I also want to thank our athletic director, Mr. Yannickus, Mr. Smalling, for everything they've done for the team and myself. I want to thank Robin for her dedication to the program. I also want to thank uh, Gasper. I want to thank uh, Sean Grant, who in my time here has helped out twice now. Uh, it's great seeing you around. You have a, a great attitude with all the guys. So, I want to uh, now acknowledge the rink staff, Lucci, Biggie, Haji, for their work in maintaining the rink and all the little things that go unnoticed by most people. I want to thank Kyle and the Airmark staff for all the great meals they provide us. Um, and I also want to thank the pep band for uh, making Shield one of the best atmospheres for college hockey. I'd like to thank the Booster Club uh, for everything they do for the program, from opening up your homes for Thanksgiving dinners to putting on potluck meals and raising money for uh, purchases for the program, such as the Smart Board. Um, I want to thank the Smart Board for never working unless the Rammer production team is there. <laughs> so then I want to thank the Rammer production team now uh, for all their hard work and dedication to the program, doing work that's crucial for our individual and team development. These next people are always behind the scenes and they don't get nearly as much credit as they should. Uh, so I'd like to start by thanking Todd for all the hard work and long hours he puts into making sure we have everything we need when we get to the rink. I want to thank J-Rod for all his efforts, not only during the season, but the time he takes over the summer to train and develop us for the future. Um, I want to thank the training staff, first Mo for her time spent with us, and then for Pitsy for these last four years. Uh, my first two years here, I spent quite a bit of time in the training room and got to know Pitsy very well. So uh, I want to thank Pitsy for uh, everything he's done for me for these last four years. Now I want to thank the coaching staff, uh, Casey, Phil, Andy, for giving me the opportunity to wear the green and gold these last two years. I'm sure when he took the job, um, and saw a five foot eight defenseman with average speed and an average shot, it wasn't entirely part of your plans. Um, but I want to thank you for working with me and uh, really developing me. All season long, you guys strive to get the most out of every player. And in the last two years, I've developed into a much better player on the ice, but also a better person off the ice. You guys have made coming to the rink every day enjoyable because of the energy, emotion, and atmosphere that you bring. Um, I have no doubt this coaching staff and the players that are here will have the program back in the national spotlight where it belongs in the near future. So now I want to thank my teammates of the past and present for all the great memories I have in these last four years on and off the ice. I know I'll never forget. I know it's cliche, but these four years go so fast, so I encourage you guys not to not waste one day. Um, now to my roommates, Rosie, Polly, Pokes, and Brick. It's been a tough road since our freshman year with all the ups and downs we face, not only as a group, but individually as well. And we've always been there for each other. Our dysfunctional family. <laughs> Through all the fights and arguments that we have about absolutely nothing. Uh, you guys are my brothers and I love all of you. Because of, being so, because of our class being so small, all our families have gotten to come together and create a kind of like a Clarkson family. So I want to thank the Pollocks, Rosens, Pokalucks, and Wilsons uh, for everything they've done for us from bringing food up to opening our, up their homes on breaks for us to stay. And uh, it's a lot of memories that I'll never forget. So I want to thank you guys. Um, let's see. I want to thank my sister, Deanna, for coming to watch the games whenever she got a chance. And I'm always being there to support me, although she didn't come tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, now I want to thank my girlfriend, Sarah, for always being there for me. Uh, even though I know I'm not the most pleasant person to be around after some games, so thank you. Uh, now this part uh, was the hardest part to write, because I wasn't sure how to put 23 years of thank yous into one paragraph. So I want to start, I want to thank my parents for always being there no matter what, always being my support team during the good and the bad, always being the first people I talked to when the game was over. 
Um, I guess when we were looking at schools six years ago, we should have taken into consideration that Clarkson was the furthest team from home in the ECAC. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I want to thank you for running your cars into the ground, <laughs> uh, making the six hour trip for every home game and barely ever missing game on the road. You guys have been amazing from putting on dinners for the team and cooking breakfast for our house every single Saturday. Um, and even the most daunting tasks of filling up the water jugs at Walmart. <laughs> Although you did turn my bedroom and home at home into an office for my sister. <laughs> I still appreciate everything you guys have done. <laughs> and always allowing me to follow my dreams. <laughs> this wouldn't be possible without both of you, so I love you. So the, um, the class of 2013 is leaving this program in a better place than when we found it. Kind of upset you said that recently before we started. That was, I swear that I was in here before you said it. So um, I'm excited to see the opportunity of all the other classes leaving and they can say the same thing now. Um, I'm excited with the opportunity to watch this program with such a rich tradition grow in the future and I think we have the right pieces in place for that to happen. Keep working hard and I know an ECAC championship and even a national championship aren't too far away. Let's go Tech. Yeah. Thank you.